Hello guys, this is Anish Vidya with another tutorial and this is on animation. Um, so I haven't really made any tutorials on animating and stuff, so I'll make one right now. Um, so I'm gonna animate him jumping down from one block to another block. Well, this can be do done in several ways, like he's running and just jumping down, but I'm just gonna... Uh, actually, I'll just make this go up one more, so it look like... It's actual jump, not like just stepping down once. Oops. So just download my pack and you should have most of the blocks. So now let me just compress it or whatever. And okay, so I'm wanting to jump down here. Okay, I'm just gonna go through what I do, how I animate, and probably what you will learn through experience. So I'm just gonna make him get a stance. Just get into normal stance, really. Okay. Um. So now we need to. Um. You should make a visual selector. It's really, really handy. Um. Yeah. Uh. So now keyframe everything here and click the record button. Uh, actually, I want to like change the skin for some reason. Just got sick of this guy. Let's make him an old man or something. I know skeleton guy. Yeah, my favorite. Sorry, you can just skip the video. Um, mouth, no mouth. Don't want the mouth. Don't want the teeth. Okay, that looks good. Okay, so now I'm ready. Uh, so now let's go to like I like to press Command D or Control D and go to this FPS thing here. And I like to go with 12 for some reason because I render my videos in 24 frames per second. So half of that is 12. And if you're doing 30 frames, I suggest 15. But since I do 24, I'll do 12. And now it should be a lot smoother, like where it's, so it's real time normally when you're hitting play. If it's if you see this thing is moving kind of slowly like this, it means you need to like delete parts of the set. Make sure you have you copy it or something and ho save it somewhere else, and then you like load it in once you're done with the animation. And then it, it should then yeah, it should be like real time. Or you can just animate through experience like on frame. Which is kind of hard to do, but then, yeah. So, um, now I'm gonna start the animation. So, I'll go to like frame 22 and just, uh, let's see what I can do. I think the best way, I don't really use this the entire now because I like to work with, uh, just like with this, I can bend the body down and up with the stuff, really, and it's pretty easy really easy like using that and I really suggest using IK it's if you're used to um, using without IK you really need to use IK because otherwise you can't get the correct movements done really uh, okay so now just move it to the end of the animation really like how it would like the place where he would land just move it there now we need to just get the trajectory right, really. So if I hit, we go to the middle, should move this up here, like that, because he's jumping. And this is through watching, learning, just normal life, and what looks right for you. It's, it's just how it is, you can't really, yeah, whatever. I can't really explain. So now let's see how it looks. So he needs to. Uh, let's see. Let's see that again. Maybe move this here and move this like here or something. Uh -huh. So let's move this here. This, yeah, and that. 
this will be kind of boring, I know, but okay, that's good for now, I guess. Let's move this. Oh. Okay, so quick tip: if you want, um, say you want this position, so select all the ones you want keyframe. So I want this. See, look, he's moving here, but I don't want that. So I'm gonna hold Control and keyframe here so control and click here and now it should keyframe everything to the way it was like kind of uh, whatever so now I'm gonna do that again on here and then I'm gonna click on this guy and then look like he's jumping like loading up for jump uh, like that oops Select both or something. Oh, I have a visual selector. Oh, gosh. Okay. I should like open up the hands. I'll I'll do that later. Normally we open up the hands and stuff when you're jumping. Um. Okay. Maybe you should widen the legs. I'm not sure. Okay. Let's see how it looks. Yeah, that looks okay. And then this one, he would let like do that. Oh, yeah, I guess. And then you see that you just move it to where I think is right. Hmm. And then you want like keyframe here a little. Uh, hold control click. And then just go like the landing. Normally, you have your legs out like this. Kind of, if you just watch, you will kind of understand the movements of humans and the way everything works together. Um, actually, I might have to delete that from this. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, that looks okay. Um, maybe the legs should go off a bit earlier. I oh, know, that's okay. And then it suddenly teleports there, which is not good. Uh, so maybe like that. Hmm. This is just going to be a boring video, just teaching you. If you're interested, you would probably watch it. But yeah. Uh, and yeah, it kind of tells you the basics. Can't really help you too much. But this is how I do everything. I first do the end. What, what am I saying? Oh, by the way, make sure you check out my new channel, The End Animations. End the End Animations. It's I'm going to upload my new animation, which is going to be out soon. I just need to add sound now. It came out really well, actually, pretty well. I worked with Animator Craft. He taught me some things also with the software, and yeah. Uh, so I'll explain it later because I'm giving a tutorial. Uh, Okay, let's bend the back a little forward, maybe. Then just normally when you land, um, you land with your knees bent, of course, uh, and then to get back in position, you will just come up a little, uh, kind of. I I can't explain it. but everything every time you jump down or whatever you do there has to be like an effect where your legs oh, let me show you see it kind of looks like it bounces up a little you have to add that otherwise it's kind of weird oh my voice cracked kind of weird uh, that 
is not normal. Why is it, why is it moving forward? Jeez. That sometimes happens. I don't know why. If you know why, tell me. Uh, maybe I should just take that. Uh, animation, you need a lot of patience. If you're the creative type, I'm thinking you might not like it that much. Like, no, no, what am I saying? If you're the creative type, you would like to make animation and right, like to make rigs and just modeling stuff like Balde Mods. Good example because it's crazy. Um, oh, yeah, it's kind of crazy. Uh, <laughs> Let me just fix this a little. Why is that happening? Uh, because I'm recording. Okay, uh, so let's see how it looks. So he would jump and he would land. Maybe I should rotate this. Mm -hmm. If you have watched um, Bootstraps, uploads on his animations I was impressed that he didn't use IK because you need so much patience if you don't use IK um, for the golem he added better arms and if you see how much work he would do with that uh, those arms it's pretty impossible like god so much work on to that thing it will take forever and even with lips lip sync and stuff okay uh, to see if, if you're having problems and to see if your render is good um, this is what my um, animated craft taught me a hardware render which is what it just renders the editor it just renders let me just show you um, so I would render it in whatever you're using. So HD quality is this. I suggest using the same as what you would normally render because then you get the correct angle of the camera and stuff. Um, all frames and then I will render it at 24 frames. This is very important. Uh, I forget it so many times. Quick time because it will be fast, very fast. I'll name it test. Save it to desktop. This is a very cool thing this animated craft showed me. Animated craft, as in not animated craft PG5, but um, yeah. What anti aliasing does is it like smooths the edges, kind of, uh, makes it sharper. Okay, so now, now let's just find a camera angle, something, and now let's just render it. Okay, look how fast it goes, so it's not a big problem. <sighs> Ooh, okay, what's happening? I'll just lower the, 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 the quality actually because it's tutorial purposes. Come on, be right back. Uh. So, as you can see, it's rendering just like in the editor um, and going really fast it'll be faster normally because I'm, but I'm recording and it's 24 frames per second if you want to see it like in slow motion or something you can render it like uh, at 100 frames per second and then if you change this to 100 frames per second uh, 24 frames per second it'll look like it's going like this and very slowly like slow motion that's how I, if you watch my new animation which is coming out soon that'll be a slow motion part so yeah uh, you'll see that part and now let me just show you it, it it's ren it rendered in real time so uh, you need to compress the video if it's kinda lagging so that looks okay I guess need some improvements but so that's basically it I guess um, what else do I have to go to you can go to options configure off this so now when you select the object there are no lines so it just reduces lag or something like that um, 
Then the command D go into dynamics and catch a big uh, say you have some simulations like cloud simulations and you click bake it'll basically bake it and there'll be no lag of the cloth when you hit play because it baked it and yeah uh, and then there is gradually there are these things if you click hidden lines there will be no textures if you click Line, oh, wireframe, mm -hmm. yeah, lines. It'll be just see what it is. this is basically the lowest, whatever thing, and that's the highest. And then there is another cool feature. Oops, create, create shader sketch material and now when you render oopsie daisy wow seriously god now when you render it's all in 2d um you need lighting a little bit of lighting and you can't have alpha really i'm not sure if you can have alpha but it doesn't really work Plus, you don't, you can't really. Yeah, you need to work around a lot of things in this. Uh, but it's a cool thing. I might be making some animations through that, maybe. And yeah, and now let me just show you something else with camera movements. Uh. Mm, let's see if you want your, your camera to like vibrate just go right click tags and vibrate and then you click here and then tag let's off the enable position I like it at like 0 0.2 and frequency at 1 and now when you hit play the camera should Move, which is slightly, very slightly. So let's put it 0 0.5 or something. So when you're like, say it's like a, a very um, sort of action thing, you would use this. Okay, one is good. One centimeter is good. And I suggest rotation also. Um, just because now hit play yeah and then I s then just off it and then like that off it and now make the keyframes and stuff and then it should work when you hit play and then you on the vibrator tag and then it should work mm, what else do I have to go through uh, like, I guess that's it for now. Yeah, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, hope this helped you make some animations. If you did, please tell me and send me a message or something. I like to see your guys' animations, and make, I'll put the link in the description. Uh, for my channel, my new channel, uh, I might also be making a guitar channel uh, just because uh, I like making tutorials, it's fun, and getting subscribers I feel like it's an achievement for me. <laughs> and when I get 1000 subscribers, I'll do something special. I don't know what it'll be, yet, but something special. Um, so, thank you for watching, and